Hey y'all, El Che here. Welcome back to Chase Forge. One of the first things that got me started on the path to becoming that tech guy was working on computers. I remember my first steps were to take my old HP pre-build and when I got bold enough, I added some RAM. When I needed it, I added some storage. And at one point I even added a graphics card. Well, today we're gonna be able to help somebody else start on their journey into the PC master race. My friend's son saved his hard earned money to be able to build himself a nice computer. This is what we're able to do with his $850. Let's go. If you're new to the channel, let me know if there's the kind of content you would like to see more of by either subscribing or hitting the like button below. Thank you so much. So what do we get him? I'm sure some of you already looked down in the description to see maybe the part, there's a part list. There is, there's a PC part list down below but you can see the parts. I'll start with these two parts. Number one, the one that it's a, just a duh, you have to go with this part in 2020. And with the one that mm, somebody might say, you could have gone with this. First, the duh. With how well AMD has been doing lately and how great their processors have been, I had to go with this. Brains of the PC and the best bang for your buck CPU out there right now, the Ryzen 5 3600. Six cores, 12 threads, up to 4.2, gigahertz out of the box boost. At $179.99, I think this is the best place to start with this build. Next, we have the GPU, a GTX 1660 Super. Here's what I could have tried to squeeze in, a 2060 possibly, but that would have been a lower spec end one, and it would have eaten so much more of the hard budget. As the lowest available 2060 at the time of filming is $299.99. Second, this is Eddie's first PC. He's coming from nothing, and he still needs accessories like a keyboard, a mouse, and even more importantly, a good monitor. We're able to find him a good monitor that is gonna be able to do 1080p at 144 hertz, which pairs really well with this Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1660 Super Gaming OC, which was $249.99. It has a triple fan design, beautiful backplate, and it has a boost clock of 1860. These two are being paired with Asus ROG Strix B450F Gaming ATX motherboard. It has plenty of that gamer flair that he will appreciate, and has a quality I can count on, so the next time I see this computer is for an upgrade and not a repair. Since Ryzen loves, loves faster RAM, we went with the Corsair Vengeance LPX 16 gigabyte kit. DDR4 memory at 3200 speeds at cache latency of 16. This kit comes with two sticks of RAM to be able to work in dual channel. While 3200 megahertz speed and 16 cache latency is one of the best you can get before you start paying a premium to go even faster. This kit is always a go for any build. For storage, we were able to squeeze in there an M.2. We went with the Crucial P2 500 gig M.2 NVMe SSD. We also added an additional two terabytes of storage with a Seagate Barracuda spinning at 7200 RPMs for the rest of his, and what I'm sure will be a large gaming library. It's another place where I could have gone bigger on the M.2, maybe gotten him a terabyte, but I think the 2.5 total space is better than the one terabyte I could have gone with for the same price. And now in the last stretch, with about $150 left, we went with this case, the Fantex Eclipse P300 ATX Mid Tower for $49. It comes with a temper side panel, a little RGB goodness in the case for flare, and space to grow. It only comes with one fan, but I think we'll make do. And lastly, what almost broke the budget was finding a power supply. We were able to find this EVGA BQ 650 watt 80 plus bronze certified semi-modular ATX power supply. What I said before, when we built the 350 work from home PC, power supplies have increased a big amount in price over the last year. Before I used to do quick that tech guy math, you would be able to take whatever amount of wattage, you, wattage power you needed on your power supply. Be able to take the last zero at the end and that would give you a fairly accurate price of what it used to cost. But now we have to multiply this number by two, if not more. If you guys follow me on Instagram, which I post there daily, you would have seen that I made a trip to Micro Center in Tustin, where I was able to buy the majority of these items. It's always nice to go there and they have great combo deals. But more importantly, they were able to price match the power supply, bringing down the price that they had at $110 to $74.99, saving the budget. Thank you. Which for those following at home, puts us right at 832.92 before taxes, which at the time of filming has increased a little bit to about 837.92, but that still puts us under the 850 budget we have. Eddie came by to be able to work on the PC a little bit, and let's see how it went.
We started as all builds should with adding as much as you can to the motherboard outside the case. We added the CPU, CPU heatsink, RAM, and the M.2. Next, for good practice, we added the GPU and powered everything together. We created a short on the power, yes, fan spinning, some RGB, and boom, we got a post. Now we know that all the parts are at least working together. We add some standoff to the case. And now the motherboard with all the things already added to it. We then added the GPU and some drives. We added the power supply. It was a little snug getting in there, and now I'm very thankful that we were able to get a semi-modular design. Did some really nice cable management, and there we have it. Guys, we're back at Studio One. I had a San Diego home, so he hasn't seen the final, final product, uh, product yet. Get some nice peel action going. There we go. Like I said, it has a couple nice flares that came with, with the motherboard. You can see the graphics card as well. And if, uh, let's see if the camera catches it. The actual uh, case comes with some lighting on here as well. It has a button you can just press down. They see green there, some like teal there, everything else. I know he's gonna love the build. It has just the right amount of RGB flare that a young boy needs. And now with that, he can join the Wait PC. Wait a Netflix. second, there's no way he's getting in with that. Look, you did great. But come on, the kid Man, saved all, all that money guy. and even came to help. You can have your eight, under $850 PC, but if he's gonna be PC MR, he's gonna need RGB. <laughs> How in the tech did you do that? Can I do no, that? No, you can't do that. So I took the PC that you made added about $35 in RGB goodness, because everybody knows that RGB gives your CPU, your GPU, your RAM, and your skills a nice boost. Come on, man. I mean, I do like that you gave them more fans. That's kind of nice. But RGB has to be subtle to be nice. Subtle RGB? 
Uh, RGB to let everybody know that you're a true gamer, that you've arrived. This is why I also got him the subtle keyboard and subtle RGB mouse. Yeah. I can see you went very subtle with that shirt. How dare you? Well, there you have it, guys. An under 850 PC build. And this one for a little over 850. Like always, stay healthy, stay safe. LK's, LK's out. out. So is, so is that my good white huh? tee you use for that? Oh, um, no.